Caroline, there are polls and there are polls. This is fascinating, this ODAXA poll and what it's actually revealing, isn't it? This poll is actually fascinating because this is the first time that Marine Le Pen is not leading the first round. Uh, Marine Le Pen would come second behind Emmanuel Macron in uh, this uh, Odoxo poll. But uh, this poll also shows uh, an alternative uh, candidate for François Fillon. In fact, uh, we don't really see on this graphic, but this poll also uh, asked people whether they would consider Alain Juppé as a replacement candidate for François Fillon. And what they are saying is is that Alain Juppé will actually uh, lead the race uh, in front of Emmanuel Macron and in front of uh, Marine Le Pen if Alain Juppé came back in the race and replaced uh, François Fillon. How many of Fillon's team have to jump ship before he exits the race, Caroline? So uh, the uh, Liberation uh, newspaper, which is a national newspaper here, actually this thing on this on their website, uh, they're doing a, a live tally of Fillon deserters. And I checked the latest number about uh, three minutes ago, and it was at 86. 86 uh, Republican elected officials uh, have now said that they are not supporting François Fillon uh, anymore. So of course, uh, this weekend will be a very big test for François Fillon is going to hold a rally in Aubervilliers, a poor suburb of Paris, on Saturday, which is tomorrow. And then on Sunday at 3 p.m., you actually uh, have some of his supporters who have organized a protest uh, in favor of uh, François Fillon, so a protest against all those people abandoning him at 3 p.m. near the Eiffel Tower. We'll have to see exactly who shows up. He's playing his last card, and it's also his birthday weekend. Fillon will be 62 tomorrow. What are the odds that Alain Juppé jumps back into the race now, Caroline? So it all depends on whether François Fillon actually asks Alain Juppé to step in. François Fillon, as you know, uh, has uh, uh, been saying that he wants to maintain uh, his bid, and Alain Juppé has been saying that he's not ready uh, to step in unless uh, François Fillon, of course, asks him uh, to uh, replace him. But of course, time is running out. You've got this March 17 deadline, as you know, where they have to submit their 500 uh, signatures. And actually, I was looking at uh, some of the rules uh, in terms of these signatures earlier. Uh, so those people, those elected officials who have already uh, given their signature for François Fillon, they can't just simply transfer uh, their support to Alain Juppé. So if the Republican Party uh, wants to replace their candidate at this point, they basically will have to file 500 new signatures. We have reports, however, in various French media that some of those who abandoned uh, François Fillon over the past few hours and over the past past 24 hours uh, would uh, be happy to give their signature to a replacement candidate.